Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and today I'm going to present you this lens by TT Artisan, the 50mm f2. I've tested it on a Fujifilm uh, X mount, but it exists on other mounts, but we're going to look at it in details. So let's start. As always, tough case, <laughs> they send you the box, uh, TT Artisan. In there, you will get uh, some information paper, guarantee card, a small uh, fiber, uh, microfiber cloth to clean the lens. And the only thing, so, and the lens inside, but it's here, it's not in there, it's here, okay? So, uh, the only thing I missed is that there is no sunshade. So, very often, TT Artisan has a sunshade. This time, it has not. But, well, the price is really, uh, really low anyway, okay? So, that's probably the reason. So, let's check this uh, lens in details. So, a small visit. Well, uh, Chinese uh, brand, they love metal. This is full metal, and I love it too. So, fantastic. <laughs> we get along together, okay? No problem. Even the uh, cap. Uh, you can uh, you screw it on it's metal also so really really nice uh, i really like this here you have uh, the aperture ring it goes from f2 to uh, f16 with clicks okay at the beginning you have half clicks half stops and then from 5.6 on then it's full stops okay well that's really usual okay and here on these lenses okay here you have uh, the uh, manual focusing it's a manual lens i've noticed that the small it moves a bit here, but I don't know if it's uh, because of my mount of, or the side of the of the lens. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe on other lens I have it too. I'm not sure. Okay, but re really, really, really slightly. It doesn't affect anything. No problem. Okay. Anyway, this uh, camera is not uh, weather sealed anyway, and the lens either. So it doesn't matter. I would take it anyway if it was rainy. Okay. Well, <laughs> hopefully not. Okay. And here you have uh, the uh, manual focusing that goes from. Uh, uh, 50 centimeter up to uh, infinity and you will notice that as you can see the ramp here okay it's open so when you get to infinity take care because it gets really close here to the aperture ring so if you uh, don't take care uh, you get used to it okay no problem but at the beginning if you notice the, the aperture is changing because when you focus you probably touch the aperture ring at the same time okay but well this is uh, normal on really small lenses so the build quality, I really love it, really nice. So we're going to get, uh, see uh, some sample and see what I've done and what I've tested. I, as I said in the beginning, you get all the rest of the picture at the end, but I show them during the video anyway. Okay, so let's carry on. And by the way, if you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a small button down here, it's a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you. So let's carry on. So as I said at the beginning, it exists in different mounts. I've tested on my uh, Fujifilm X-E1, but it exists for Fujifilm, for Sun, uh, Fujifilm X, uh, Sony E, uh, Nikon Z, Canon M, and Micro Four Third, okay? Uh, if we look at uh, 50 mm on APS-C, uh, it will give you the equivalent of 75 mm on full frame, except the Canon M, which is 1.6 uh, crop factor, okay? And if we look at Micro Four Third, that will give you like the equivalent of 100 mm, okay? Aperture goes from f2 to f16, manual lens, manual, manual focusing. So I think it's important uh, you check your camera and you activate the focus picking that will light some uh, small uh, dots, in color dots, so uh, it gives, you know exactly where the focusing is being made. So that really helps when you manually uh, focus a lens, okay? So uh, check your manual, camera manual, and see how you, you, you uh, set it up, okay? The minimum uh, distance for focusing is 50 centimeters. Is it a lot? Well, is it too much? Well, I think it's okay. Uh, I like when it's closer, but that's fine for this uh, focal length. I think it's fine. The filter diameter is 43 millimeter. And if we look at the optical part of it, it's six element in five groups. The weight is, it's light. Uh, it's full metal, so it's not as light as plastic, but 190 grams up to 212 grams, depending on the uh, mounts you're uh, choosing, because uh, they, all, they don't all weigh the same. And it's all fully metal. Uh, the aperture has 10 blades. It gives a nice bokeh. Uh, it's creamy. That's fine. I like it. That's fine. And as I said before, no sun hood. A pity. Okay. So let's speak about image quality. I didn't see much uh, image distortion, which is normal for this focal length. If it was a, a lot wider, maybe you would see it. But on this so 50 millimeter, that's fine. If we speak about vignetting, well, honestly, I didn't see any vignetting. And if we speak about image quality, sharpness, 
Well, I would say uh, on the border at F2, it's really soft. It was well, a bit soft, yes. And then it betters at 2.8, F4, F8, uh, that's fine. Okay, so very often we see and read, uh, analyze of our uh, scientific uh, analysis of lenses, and we feel like, yeah, but F2 is soft in the border, it's a problem. Yeah, but you should think, how are you going to use this lens? Because one thing is the theory and the science, another one is the real life. And real life, uh, really, if you use F2 because you want a, a really shallow depth of field, you probably want something to stand out and the rest to be in the bokeh, you lost in there, okay? So, uh, probably, if you make a portrait of me right now with this lens, you probably have the side that are out of focus. So you will never notice that it is soft. Uh, you, that much sharpness, but yeah, anyway, it's in the out of focus part. So you will not notice it. So it's important when you uh, check the uh, characteristic or the analysis of a lens, think on how you're going to use it because that makes a lot of difference. Sometimes we don't buy a lens because it's, it's soft on the border, but we, we would never notice it because of the kind of picture we make. And if you say, yeah, but I want to make a landscape and uh, shop from border to border. Yeah, but in this case, you're probably not using F2, but F8, so you don't have the problem, okay? So, so far, I think the image quality is completely acceptable, okay? Really, from acceptable to good, okay? So, who is this lens for? When we say 50 millimeters, straight away, people think about portrait lenses. And it's not just portraits. Uh, 50 millimeter, the coolant 75. You can use it for anything. Actually, in my review, I didn't make any portrait. I didn't have anyone to make portrait to anyway, but I used it for nature, for uh, landscape, for situation, for uh, elements like plants or whatever. And I think we should forget this uh, 50 millimeter portrait. No, 50 millimeter is for what you want to do. Uh, some people do a landscape with a 400 millimeter, others do portrait with a 12 millimeter. It depends what you want to do. So I think uh, this lens is uh, fantastic, okay? Uh, for the price it has, it's around 70 euros, something like this, which is ridiculous price, honestly. Uh, really uh, affordable, okay? So do I recommend this lens? Well, honestly, if uh, you need a 50 millimeter, you, want, you don't want to spend more than this, or you don't have to, uh, more than this to spend, that's fantastic. Or you have the typical camera that I, this, uh, I showed before, the XE1, that second hand that costs around 120 euros. Well, you add this to this, and this is a great kit. So yes, this is a lens I can only recommend, okay? So if you are interested in this lens, I'll leave you links in the description on where you can buy it. So. Thank you so much, TT Artisan, for sending me the lens. Thank you to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The small button down here is a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. Also, leave you links of my on Amazon, links of everything I reviewed by KF Concepts and Mark, and flashes by Westcott, and more affiliated links like the TT Artisan, for example, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.